In Florida, Bell's Outlet shoppers are typically seniors and snowbirds, but with the new look and new products, the outlets are working to attract a different type of customer. And what we've defined as our customer is really we want to be the shopping solution for that working family. Uh, the family that's growing um, and their kids require, you know, want the brands that they're looking for, and we want to make sure to provide that to them but to mom at a much better value and savings than she would get everywhere else. So really family is what drives our, as really our target customer and what drives our purchase decisions from that. To pull in young families, the outlets are launching new departments and expanding others that a mom and her two kids would enjoy. That allowed us to grow categories like our kids department, which was a really well established already, but we were able to expand that further uh, by uh, expanding our toy business a lot further, expanding into our new baby business that's allowed us to grow. We've also developed categories like our, our shoe, our kids' shoe business, and, and ensured that was a growth area for her as well, as well as um, our junior business, our junior girls, and our young men's business as these young growing families in here. We don't want to forget mom, and mom's important, and so we have you know a great uh, variety for her as well. Uh, particularly, we expanded things, uh, her staples like handbags and shoes was a growth area for us. The home furnishings area is also getting an update, and even when the housing market soured, merchandise moved. We came up with uh, not only expanded categories, but new fixturing and new displays that we can uh, showcase our product to. We'd like uh, the home business uh, to grow to represent about 25% of our business. We feel it complements that customer quite well. And uh, you know, nearly two years later, we're well on track with this concept, and it's been a really phenomenal success for us so far. In some states, Bell's Outlets are called Burke's Outlets. According to Alves, those stores are the same as Bell's Outlets, except they carry more cold weather products. Um, we appreciate that people in Kentucky don't wear sandals in the middle of December and January as much as they do here. And so we've had to evolve our business and, and through those learnings. And conceptually, the stores will be very similar in size and shape and overall categories that you'd carry in Florida as well as out of the state. Uh, however, what you're going to see is the seasonality of those products change rather drastically, certainly certain times of the year. And so as you go into uh, out of December and into January, you will find a lot more short sleeve, a lot more tank top business, a lot more uh, sandal business in the Florida market, brighter colors, more seasonally appropriate, where in our uh, out-of-state stores, you still you would see a little more longer sleeve, a little more basics like denim still relevant in their market. Um, and although they may not be wearing boots at this point in time, they're certainly wearing more closed toe shoes uh, like a canvas shoe versus an open toe sandal. So we are very cognizant of the seasonalities and what's relevant for our customer at that particular moment and in that time in that store. And so that's some of the nuances that we've learned uh, and been able to manage accordingly between the stores inside of Florida and the ones outside of Florida. Burks does have something that Bell's Outlets lack, an online store. It's a test for the outlet division that its president wants to succeed at Burks before expanding to Bell's. And we also want to make sure that we replicate the experience in the store. So we want that same treasure hunt environment online as we do offline. We want that same sense of urgency that says, you know, you need to buy it today because it probably may not be here tomorrow. So you're gonna, probably going to have to you know, make that commitment right now. Um, and we also want the ever-changing choice that we find offline, we want that to be online as well. Given all the changes in the physical stores, Bell's outlets are trying to take a bite out of the competition while trying not to copy places like Ross and Marshall's. So we're really more about that family. We're, we're that person that's coming in here who has kids, grandkids, or thinking about themselves as well as you know their, the rest of their family. And so that's really where we differentiate from TJ's. We probably overlap a little bit with Ross from that perspective. I think they are more family, you know, positioned. Uh, however, we believe our position, competitive position against Ross is that uh, we offer uh, a more significant assortment than they do, generally a broader range in a much brighter shopping environment and a very friendly environment. Maybe most of all, what distinguishes Bell's outlets from the rest is that it's part of a family-owned company in Brainton that is turning 100 years old. And what's really important is when you hear back to the story and you hear back along those the 100 years and some of those tough spots along the way that the company has under, uh, undergone and, and the spirit and the, and the energy that was exuded to, uh, to per persevere and keep moving on and grow and, uh, and to be able to stay here 100 years later and look at where, you know, what's been accomplished, it's really quite an honor actually to be standing here at this moment in time in the organization. For Bradenton.com and the Bradenton Herald, I'm Charles Shalee.